Hello everybody, Kill Land Games, and welcome back. I'm gonna give a shout out to my girlfriend Ami and my best friend Gracie. And I have my friends still here with me. Cameron Casada and Levi Woodworth. Look, I'm very evasive. I'm a spider. What the hell is that? Now we get into the exciting shit. This is my first. Uh, I completely beaten the game. I only been I only been to the um cabin. What do you want? How did you see that coming? No shit. That's blood. Come on, piece of me, buddy. You better come at me good. I'm waiting. It's actually a pretty good game if you get to it. No, that's like... Oh, that fucking kind of warped music just... Yeah. Alright, so one of the doors opened. I don't know where it is. One thing you gotta keep in mind about indie horror games is that you have to go on a search and Easter egg hunt. Oh god. This manor is so fucking big. <laughs> oh, 
Shut the hell up, that's not what I sound like. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, this this is getting ridiculous. Okay, what the fuck am I looking for? Okay. I love how he gets all pissed off that I'm finding out all these things about him. What's the matter? Are you hiding something? A little dark no-no secret? What the fuck? Would I have to step outside to grab that fucking key? Well, it's worth the experiment because the door is still open. Out for a smoke break. Dick. You're very hairy. You're one ugly little motherfucker. Uh, every time I hear that part, that's a. Oh, I think you're special in your own way. Uh, have they, has he even released a game? One of the game, uh, like, the game? Yeah. That's what I'm kind of fucking waiting on. That's what I'm kind of waiting on. Oh my god, he's playing fucking mind games with me. What ones? I... I checked that one. The ones down here. Nothing... Nothing's changed. So far. Oh, I always check that one. One thing I hate about indie horror games is that sometimes it's the same bullshit. I N D I E. I uh... it's like puzzles and shit. Put with a little bit of a horror to it. See, that one's locked, that one's locked. That's what I've been looking for for the past. <laughs> what? And yeah, oh well, four. And he's not make. Yeah, I've been in here, but I think I keep missing something. So I have to come in here and fucking look like a dumbass. Tired of this warped music. A 
time that I fucking missed. Oh, God damn it. Don't tell me he switched things around. God damn it. What a dick. We just hired the greatest groundskeeper to tend our manor. He's been getting really close with our family. I mean, I consider him to be the brother I never had. As long as he's with us, I think nothing will ever go wrong. Where's the cigarettes? Although it is strange how much he's obsessed with clocks. He has multiple watches on his wrist. He says he likes to keep exact track of how much time he's losing. Creepy as fuck. Yeah, me too. Keeper's been acting really strange recently. It seems like his obsession with time has become more of an addiction. He seems like he's becoming private and jittery. It almost seems as if his body's becoming inhabited by nothing. Okay. There's a game called Mannequin. Oh, one. One. Okay, now I gotta fucking do it. One. That is. Okay, the puzzle should be fucking perfectly, painfully clear that. Not anywhere on the fucking bed. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Thank you. Alright, I need a lighter. 
Oh, I got one. This is fucking. Oh my god, this game is so. It's just a bitch. Oh god. I wanted to look at it up and down and call it Betsy. <laughs> yeah. Come here, beautiful. I had to, there should be, oh god, lag. Oh god, it looked like it moved back. Unless I'm fucking hallucinating. What? <laughs> oh, whenever I was backing out of there? To me. If you Hello, you're new. Okay, I guess that works too. No shit, Sherlock. Let me tickle your butthole. <laughs> oh god. I'm gonna end the episode here, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.